So hello everyone. Uh, this is Alan. Uh, I'm the just like Alibaba Cloud Intelligence uh, Philippine country head. Uh, today, uh, I just spend a few minutes to make a very quick and also brief introduction about Alibaba Cloud. Yeah, actually, uh, during the just like the past working experience in the Southeast Asia, and also during the just like the past working uh, in the uh, Manila and also Philippines. Uh, we found that uh, the digitalization is always uh, the hot topics uh, in the uh, Philippine market, such as uh, how to just like uh, keep the business innovation and also the growth continually, and also how to use the just like the uh, new technology adoption and also keep the no matter the business, but also the just like uh, the uh, ICT environment uh, involvement. And also, uh, you know, some sometimes uh, the company also plays some investment, no matter on business, but also on the ICT infrastructure. But uh, how to get the better return on investment? And of course, uh, the cybersecurity and also the connectivity always uh, the just like the hot topics from the local market in Philippines. And uh, in 2017, also the Philippine government also just like conduct the. Uh, the cloud first policy and also many, many just like enterprises also just like uh, considering how to use the data access to drive the business. So mentioned about uh, these hot topics, uh, I also just like uh, wanted to uh, uh, release another news. Actually, this is uh, uh, already not a new news. Actually, in April, Alibaba Cloud Intelligence, we already announced that uh, over the next three years, Alibaba Cloud, or oh, that we will keep investment uh, in current technologies such as uh, cloud data intelligence and AI technology, and also the construct, uh, construction of the uh, future data centers uh, in the uh, China mainland and also globally. The number is around two, 200 billion RMB. And uh, so, because you know, uh, we Alibaba Group and also Alibaba Cloud, we keep the strong confidence that, that, that this new technology that can help the no matter for the uh, government, but also for the just like uh, enterprise industry uh, leaders that they can just like uh, give their uh, new technology and also to make the whole industry and uh, to uh, to reach another just like a, a new generation uh, involvement. And also mentioned about uh, the Alibaba Cloud. Actually, uh, I know that uh, many, many guys, uh, you know that uh, Alibaba, maybe you still say that uh, Alibaba Group is still an e-commerce uh, company. But uh, from this map, you can see that uh, actually Alibaba Group Already not, already not uh, only an e-commerce company. From this map, you can see that uh, we got uh, the just like on the financial, we got a large, just like the largest, uh, just like the digital marketing Alibaba, and also we got the largest logistic infrastructure, uh, Tanya Logistic, and also Alibaba Group. We got uh, the online uh, e-commerce. We also have the offline, just like shopping malls, a lot in China, and also we to have the consumer service and also Alibaba Group, we also have the digital media and also entertainment, uh, just like business service, such as uh, Alibaba Pictures and also other entertainment uh, business unit. But uh, uh, how to support this whole business, just like running grossly and also smoothly, no matter in China, but also globally. Also, just like that's the main responsibility of Alibaba Cloud. I believe now Alibaba Cloud already been to the, just like the Alibaba Cloud, uh, Alibaba Group's technology backbone. And uh, also, if you use uh, Alibaba Cloud service, of course, you use the same technology and also the same homegrown technologies from Alibaba Group. And uh, also Alibaba Cloud was founded in 2009. Uh, currently, Alibaba Cloud uh, has uh, championed in the Asia Pacific market and also China mainland market. Uh, according to the uh, Gartner report uh, uh, from the left side, you can see that uh, Alibaba Cloud already take just like the leading uh, leading position in the Asia Pacific market. Actually, in the Asia Pacific market, Alibaba Cloud 
we already take around 28.2% market share in the Asia Pacific market. And also in the uh, globally worldwide, also Alibaba Cloud was ranked uh, the number three cloud service provider. And uh, in China mainland, Alibaba Cloud, uh, um, of course, uh, almost take around 50% market share. And uh, until the uh, 2018, Alibaba Cloud, the market share in China mainland is more than the next cloud service provider combined in China mainland. And uh, also, uh, since uh, Alibaba Cloud, uh, we just like uh, uh, started our own business from China mainland, and also we based in Asia. So we also just like focus on Asia. Actually, Alibaba Cloud, we already built uh, the largest cloud infrastructure in Asia Pacific, such as in Hong Kong, Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, in Japan, in India, and also in the Middle East. Also, Alibaba Cloud, we already built a very large, uh, just like a cloud infrastructure uh, in the Asia Pacific part. And uh, now globally, we already have the 21 Alibaba Cloud regions. And for the 30 nodes, uh, we got uh, around uh, uh, 2,800 plus CD nodes. Of course, in the Manila, we also have the CD nodes. And, uh, you know, in the Asia for Asia, so Alibaba Cloud, we, of course, we, we will just like keep more investments in the Asia, uh, in the Asia Pacific market. And uh, also uh, Philippines and also Manila is also one focus that just like uh, emerging market that's uh, from Alibaba Cloud that we will focus on the just like Asia emerging cloud market such as uh, the uh, Indonesia, such as the Philippines, such as Thailand, Malaysia. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, when just like uh, some enterprises, uh, they migrate their service to the cloud, uh, the cloud security and also compliance is a big concern for most of the uh, enterprises and also even some fintech and also the government. And uh, also Alibaba Cloud, we already built uh, just like the full suite, just like no matter the globally, but also the regional and also the just like a countryside, the security and also compliance uh, certificate, such as uh, the ISO and the SOC report and also even GDPR. From this picture, you can see the who Alibaba Cloud security and also compliance. And also uh, in the past 10 years, Alibaba Cloud also built uh, the, just like the largely partner ecosystem network uh, around the world. Uh, no matter for the, uh, no matter the partnership with uh, globally partners such as SAP and Deloitte, KPMG, uh, Intel, Red Hat, and also for the just like the regional partners such as uh, uh, Hong Kong in PCCW, and also in Philippines such as Kesha, and also uh, some other partners. Yeah, and also uh, the next is uh, the some differential values for from the Alibaba Cloud. Of course, Alibaba Cloud we do offering the competitive, just like the cost saving solution to guarantee that uh, the, our client and also our partners that can get the best return from the investment. And also Alibaba Cloud also offering the, just like the same level and also the world top level, just like cloud service and also the product mentioned about the cloud and also the data intelligence. And beside that, Alibaba Cloud also offering the end-to-end -end solutions. Actually, we do not, all in offering the just like cloud infrastructure and also some platform as a service. But so we do offering some just like applications and also, also some just like industry solutions, such as uh, fintech solutions, uh, digital banking, such as uh, retail solutions, and also e commerce solutions. And uh, we do offering some just like uh, logistic solutions, such as uh, the warehouse and also supply chain uh, digital solutions. And of course, uh, based on no matter the cloud service, but also the solutions, we do just like working more together with our eco partners in the, just like in no matter in the global market, but also in the, uh, in the regional and also country, country market. And, uh, you know, we know that uh, currently all the just like Philippine countries also just like stay 
into the just like COVID-19 situation. So, uh, you know, um, Alibaba Group and also Alibaba Foundation and also Alibaba Cloud, we already made a lot of efforts to just like uh, enable and also to support the who just like uh, the uh, the the countries and the people who suffered from the just like COVID nineteen uh, wires. So from Alibaba Cloud, we already offered just like the free uh, computing and also AI platform re resources freely for the public research institutions uh, worldwide. And to uh, to just like to speed up the no matter for their just like wires testing, but also for supporting the many many enterprise to about the working recovery, and also uh, mentioned about that so you can also from this page. Uh, so we already worked with uh, some Japan uh, companies uh, to use some uh, AI technologies to enhance their just like the wires and also cases uh, uh, testing efficiency. And uh, we worked with uh, some, just like uh, uh, some picture videos uh, studios uh, uh, to support their just like uh, studio workers and also designers uh, uh, just like to work from home and also get back to work. And uh, we support some just like the China government to use some healthy code uh, for the health wires control and also work recovery. And also from the Alibaba group, we also outputted uh, the just like the handbook of the COVID-19 provision and the treatment, uh, just like uh, uh, to help the many just like hospitals and also doctors, and also from the uh, Alibaba Foundation and also Jack Ma Foundation, we also donate uh, a lot of just like the health uh, masks and also health equipment to the uh, to the local market, such as uh, also I, I guess that uh, Jack Ma also donates a lot of. Uh, uh, equipment uh, to the Philippine um, people and also to the Philippine government, and also mentioned about uh, the uh, the some industries, also Alibaba Group and also Alibaba Cloud. We already built uh, some just like live streaming platform and also remote uh, education platform for some enterprise uh, to keep their business growing and also running uh, during the COVID nineteen situation, such as. Uh, uh, you can see this page. We use some live streaming service uh, to transfer the all switch their business model from the offline business model to the uh, live streaming model to to sell to selling their just like uh, commodities and also goods online. And uh, okay, that's all. Just like a very quick brief uh, introduction about uh, Alibaba Cloud and also uh, our just like what we have done during the COVID nineteen situation. So now I hand over uh, my speech to our uh, professional experts on SAP solutions. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time to join this session. So my name is Jin Huili, and I'm working as a SAP solution architect on Alibaba Cloud. And before joining Alibaba Cloud, I have worked for SAP as a HANA developer for several years. I think since SP2, so HANA was SP2 quite a long time ago. OK, so in this session, I will give a brief introduction about uh, SAP solution on Alibaba Cloud. I will focus on why SAP solutions on Alibaba Cloud. And as a YAS provider, we, what do we provide in the SAP ecosystem? And then how to migrate SAP systems onto Alibaba Cloud. And the last but not least, the customer references. OK. So first, uh, why SAP solution on Alibaba Cloud? So I think for these two big guys, I think you definitely know this, the left one, who is the pre-CEO of SAP. And uh, right by is uh, the current CEO of Alibaba Group. And uh, if we look back four years ago, we have started the cooperation, I mean, the strategy business cooperation with SAP. And SAP as a software provider and Alibaba Cloud as a YAS provider, we can deeply work together. And in the last four years, as you can see here, we have worked a lot. So starting from the uh, different SAP applications, application, so no matter net waiver based, so you can imagine R three, S four. So this stuff will B one or Hana those certifications, and then we have moved it further to the SAP Pass and SaaS product. For example, last year the SCP the Pass platform, and also as for Hana Cloud public cloud version, has been landed on the cloud. So till now, the SCP sub-cloud platform, S4HANA Cloud, and Marketing Cloud, 
they are available already in China to the customers and which is based on Alibaba Cloud. And in this year, we are also working on landing different SAP SaaS solutions like uh, uh, SAP Analytic Cloud, like uh, IBP. So you can expect more and more SaaS products also available in China on Alibaba Cloud. But uh, we will keep working on, let's say, to extend our uh, certified virtual machine for different SAP softwares. So here is a summary of the advantages of SAP solution on Alibaba Cloud. As I mentioned in the last page, so we have done lots of certifications, hardware, so NetWaver based applications, HANA, different uh, databases in SAP world, so for example, MaxDB, Microsoft Circle Server, ASE, DB2, all of them, they are supported already on Alibaba Cloud and Business One, DataHub, and also the Data Intelligence, which is the latest version of DataHub, right? And uh, compared to the original traditional hardware implementation, so the TCO in long time is also lower. And from cloud world, you can always expect the latest technology. For example, in Alic Cloud, you can utilize the enterprise SSD block storage, which can reach maximum 1 million LPIs. And you can always uh, uh, enjoy the latest uh, generation of CPU from Intel, for example. Right now, I mean, it's the sixth generation, and you can expect the seventh generation of CPU in, the, in this year in the second half of the year. So we can always uh, enjoy or use the latest technology because the cloud the cloud company always utilize the latest, latest technology. So besides that, we also have very strong SAP ecosystems. We have many uh, SAP partners. So in China or in worldwide, especially in Philippine Casa, we work together to help the SAP customers to migrate their systems from on-premise or from local IPC, IDC to the cloud world. And we also have many successful stories. Till now we have around 140 to 150 customers, SAP customers running their SAP workloads on Alibaba Cloud. And in Southeast Asia, the, the number is around 10 to 20. So in Europe, I think the number is around 10 and others are in China. And the last but not least, you can see the last part is the solutions. That is what our team is doing. So actually, my team, we have around 10 colleagues in my team, and all of us are ex-SAP colleagues. So we have very strong SAP technology and experience. So we know what's the concern of what does the SAP customer need. So utilize or work together with the cloud solution or service. We have developed some solution which will help the SAP customer to migrate or to run their IP workload on Alibaba Cloud. I will give a more detailed introduction later. Okay, so what do we provide? Uh, so I think you definitely need to know that SAP needs the hardware vendor or the YAS Cloud provider to run lots of certifications to ensure that their SAP applications can running without any performance drawback or without any performance uh, influence on the hardware or on cloud. And you can see here in this page, so I have divided the cloud world certification to two parts. One is the NetWaver based application. So beyond it is, for example, SAP BW, SAP R3 Business Suite, and S4, which is based on ABAP, ABAP uh, uh, stack, and uh, you can see that this uh, ABAP-based uh, application, it can be run on any DB, which is SAP ASE, DB2, or Circle Server, or Oracle DB, or SAP HANA, right? And the operation system can be Linux and Windows, and the other part is uh, HANA. So from SAP side, they require the certification. So what does certification mean? Certification means that when the customer meet any issue later, for example, only running their SAP workload on Alibaba Cloud, then SAP will support it. So you can easily open a ticket and SAP will welcome that. And the SAP analyze their software or application or the base problem. And after that, if it is recognized that it's a hardware or cloud problem, 
Then there's a component in the SAP ticket system, and they will directly forward this ticket to that component. And our colleagues will work on that to help you resolve this issue. So the ticket system is also, let's say, integrated, and you do not have any concern when the, for the support process. Okay, here is a more detailed uh, picture about the certification, what we have done. So I have divided this to two parts, you can see. First is for NADB, and the second one is for the HANA part. So for NADB, as you know, that you can have all the R3 applications or other, let's say, non S4 applications like SRM, so like BWPO portal stuff or B1 stuff. And here you can see that the supported database is, as I mentioned before, so server DB2, max DBSE. And this is so other non APA based applications like data BO, content server live cache. And all of them, they are supported to run on Alibaba Cloud. So the next question is on which operation system, right? And then you can see that COC, Red Hat, or Windows, all of, the, all of them, they are supported. And then the next question is that, okay, you have software, you have operation system, then where can I run it? Where, which kind of uh, virtual machine in the cloud world can I run my SAP workload? So you can see that right now we have certified many uh, virtual machine families. Here you can see G5, G6, SN2, E, R5, R6. They are virtual machine family. It's not a dedicated virtual machine type with a specified, uh, specified uh, CPU or memory, but it's a family. Family means that in this family, you can have multiple virtual machines starting, for example, from two, two CPU, four gigabyte RAM to, let's say, 50 CPU and, and uh, 200 RAM, 200 gigabyte RAM. And then so we can, as you can see, there are totally five virtual machine families, and you can expect uh, 20 to 30 virtual machines you can choose to run different SAP workloads. And you can easily choose based on your, let's say, SAP users criterion or as sub-values uh, criterion to choose the correct virtual machine for you. And from this link, so sorry, from this link, if you click here, you can easily go to the SAP node, which is this one, to see the detail list. All of them, they are supported to run SAP workloads. And from this note, you can also see which kind of application on which kind of operation. So all the information which I just explained, okay? And the second part is for HANA. So as you can see that for the HANA scale up scenario, uh, we have certified the virtual machine from 256 gigabyte RAM up to four terabytes gigabyte RAM. And today I also go get the news that the six terabyte uh, bare metal machine is also certified. So it means that if you have HANA workload and if you want to run it on Alibaba Cloud, you can have, let's say, the virtual machine or the results from 256 to six terabytes. You have many choice, different choice. And you can see here, we also support scale out scenario. And also for business one, because I mean, business one is a little different, is uh, for small customers. And uh, when it is using HANA database, it requires specific uh, certification. So you can see here for the B1 uh, HANA, we are supporting from 64 gigabytes up to 500 gigabytes, which fulfill most of customers' requirements, I think. Okay, so this part is what I mentioned that our team has, what our team has developed in the ICP world. So you can see that we have developed six services in three areas in planning and deployment area. We have de developed automation deployment service. And also we have worked together with UC to develop some, let's say, uh, best practice. For example, here is a HANA intro and cross availability zone. HA solution with SUSI HAE, so automatic HANA HAE. And for the security connection area, so you can see that we have some security suit for your SAP workload on Alibaba Cloud. We also have, let's say, some solutions to support your SAP solution. 
So from the network connection perspective, for the last mail from your IDC to Alibaba Cloud, or let's say from the cross region connection, yeah. And the last is for the operation and the administration perspective, we have also uh, developed a hybrid backup solution. So which means that you can back up your HANA data, not directly to your local storage, but directly to our cloud object storage. So this is very helpful. And last but not least, we also provide some monitor service for your SAP system. So first is about uh, auto, auto deployment, automation deployment. So here you can see that we have predefined some templates, for example, HANA HA or HANA single installation or S4 HANA. So the latest version is 1809, I think, and uh, S4 HANA HA is uh, deployment, we have predefined some templates and uh, in the Ali Cloud Console, in the ROS service part, you can choose the template and you just need to click one button and the predefined template will deploy it into an uh, existing uh, environment on your Ali Cloud account. So you do not need to download the installer you do not need to start uh, the SWPM. You do not need to go step by step, configure the kernel, configure the export. All of the stuff we have predefined, we have saved in the template. You just need to give, let's say, where do I want to deploy, whether there is a virtual private cloud there or not. So you just give the environment information and for the download, for the SAP system configuration, for the installation, or for the H, even for the HA configuration, we done it for you. So this is quite helpful for the dev or let's say for the test system environment of OPOC. Even some customers use it for the production new de new system development deployment. Okay, second is what I mentioned is about we work together with ICP partners. This case is CUC to generate some best practice. So why do we want to do that? Because there are some customers coming to Ali Cloud, SAP customers, and uh, when they want to deploy, let's say, the HANA H3 uh, solution on Ali Cloud, especially for cross region of cross availability zone, then they need to investigate or search or do research by themselves, and then they find, okay, how to do that. But uh, we want to help those customers to do it, or we generate a best practice, so that they can easily just follow our best practice because this best practice has been already certified or let's say proved from Ali Cloud and also SUSI perspective. So you can see here there is a link which is SUSI uh, portal. And if you just uh, click it and you can see all the step-by-step -step with a screenshot how to configure HANA uh, cross a baby zone solution, HA solution on Alibaba Cloud. Okay, so this page is about the security solution. So as you know that SAP system is very important and uh, is almost the most important uh, IT system in the customer environment. It saves uh, the ERP data. So that the security is a very important uh, factor. So here you can see that uh, lots of customer, they, when they want to, when they deploy their SAP system on the Alibaba cloud, so for the for the access part, so they for the mobile part, they will use some anti DDoS or web application firewall solution to protect the access. And from the IDC here, if there is a VPN, you can see that they will they will use a busting host so that all the all the ICP system there is no uh, public IP address, so no one can access them directly. And also you can, let's say, add some situation awareness or resource account access management to extend or to power the security solution. Okay, here is about the global connection network solution. So here I would divide it, this to three parts. So imagine that about the first we start from the last mail. So imagine you have IDC, here, or you have, let's say, different branch or store, then how do you connect to Alibaba Cloud, right? Because Alibaba Cloud is a, is a 
centralized or let's say it's a yes it's a public cloud you first if you want to access your icp systems on the cloud you first need to connect to the cloud right so here from the idc part so you can choose let's say the vpn connection or the express connect to connect your let's say office network to our cloud and for some let's say stores or branches i think this is very helpful for the retail industry you we have we also provide this uh smart access gateway product it's a i mean there's a soft version and also hardware version and uh, it helps uh, your let's say store or your branch to easily connect to the alibaba cloud and once the network once the connection is already there and you can let's say log on to the alibaba cloud and uh, you can utilize the cn i mean the cn means that the cost cloud enterprise network or global isolation to let's say to fix uh, the cross-region network connection problem or requirements and then last but not least is that you can choose the other let's say cloud or solution for example the, the net gateway or the load balancing or the public ip address within your sap systems to 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 light it whether i mean to have the uh, internet access or to just have the private ip address <clears throat> okay so this part this page is regarding the icp cloud backup as i mentioned that so imagine if you have a icp hana system so maybe right now most of it is on the local idc and if you want to perform the backup of the, your ICP HANA, then how do you do that? Okay, you run a backup command, or you trigger it from ICP HANA Studio, or you trigger it in the ICP system, I mean, via the, via the transaction. But uh, then the backup will be saved in your local storage, right? And if you are free that some issue may happen, then you may save it to the third party place, or another storage place like, uh, like uh, let's say, EMC or some other places, but you have to write the script by yourself, right? And if you imagine the cloud world, if your SAP HANA system is sitting on a virtual machine, it also have the local storage, or here it is cloud storage, but it is bundled to your virtual machine. Okay, when you trigger the HANA backup, it is saved in the block storage, which is bundled to, to your virtual machine. But if the, the whole, I mean, if the disk of storage is broken, then your backup is gone right so here we have worked together with sap together to generate a cloud backup so what does cloud backup mean i think all of you knows that it amazon has s3 and early cloud has object storage so it is a cloud object storage it's not limited to any virtual machine but it's a centralized central controlled let's say uh, object storage so your hana system on the virtual machine can be directly back up to the object storage. It's this service or this solution is integrated from the HANA backend interface. So you don't need to take care of where, which local storage I need to back up to. I just need to configure the remote or the central object storage. Then my HANA backup will be directly backed up there. And uh, they, I mean, they, you don't need to concern about uh, your availability, about your backup right so this is quite helpful and you can see here this is also certified from icp side okay so the last page is regarding the monitor view so as you can see here for this page we have provided a service called sa called the data v data visualization and with this service you can configure or you can integrate your sap systems in the system in the service and then in the service itself you can see all the let's say running information status alert or let's say different uh, factors like cpu like memory stuff in the monitor view so this is quite helpful when you have many systems and then you can have a direct view how your systems are running and if you use dingtalk it can also be integrated with dingtalk so dingtalk is alibaba im2 and you can get, let's say, alerts or email from it. 
Okay, so here is the scenarios of running SAP application on Alibaba Cloud. So I have put it into two scenarios. First is the new deployment. So as you know, that is Greenfield, right? And then you can also, if you have your SAP systems already on the IDC on premise, then you can migrate it to the cloud, which is Brownfield. And uh, also there are some customers that uh, they would, uh, I mean, SAP SCP system is about the very core system. And they are, let's say, they, they have some concerns regarding the public cloud network or let's say regarding the data security. So they will first try to put a non-production system to the cloud or put the disaster recovery systems on cloud. Okay, so here, I mean, I just illustrated the scenarios of running a SAP system on Alibaba Cloud, then how to do the migration. This is also very important. So as you can see that in the cloud world, there are two four ways to migrate your SAP systems onto Alibaba Cloud or onto the cloud. First is to use the host level migration. So Alibaba Cloud provides the tool called P2V. P means physical and V means virtual. So in case you have, let's say, a uh, hardware or as your SAP system on your IDC in a fixed box, you can run this tool and it will generate um, image, OS image. And then, I mean, it, you can use this image to create virtual machine on Alibaba Cloud. But uh, I mean, this is, as I said, this is a whole host level. So it just make uh, an image of your hardware or your HANA box. And second option is to use the database synchronization migration. So for example, you can set up the HANA, you have your HANA systems on local, and you can set up the, uh, the replication between your local HANA and your HANA system on the cloud, and then use the original database synchronization mechanism to do the migration. Because for the SAP migration, the database is the most important part. And the SAP application, I mean, you just need to deploy or install it, right? All the data is saved in the database. And the third option is about is to use the SAP standard migration. So I think you definitely know that SAP provided a different uh, migration mechanism. For example, first is SAP copy, system copy, which you can copy, let's say, your uh, R3 systems uh, onto other area, right? Other environment. Okay. And also, I mean, if you need to migrate from R3 to S4, no. SAP also provides, SAP also provides a DMO of SAM, and uh, it also supports a heterogeneous migration. And uh, the last option is from the third party. So it, since the uh, migration from R3 and S4 is very complex if your business workload is very complex. So in the SAP world, there are, there are many custom, there are many partners like SMP or like other partners that they have, let's say some tools, migration tools like the Crystal Bridge to support the migration. So which will fix the, the especially the data conversion or let's say the data type conversion problem. Okay, so I have uh, explain the, what do we provide and uh, how to migrate or how to run SCP systems uh, on different scenarios on Alibaba Cloud. And last but not least, I would uh, talk about the custom reference. So as I mentioned at the beginning, right now in uh, Alibaba Cloud, there are around 140 to 150 customers. And uh, most of them, they are in China, but we also have lots in Southeast Asia and Europe. So I have picked some examples, and the two of them are in Indonesia. Maybe you know them. And uh, yes. So here is one customer called Jonas Tech, and this customer is from manufacturing industry. And you, as you can see that they have put or deployed their S4 HANA systems on Alibaba Cloud. So as you can see here, they have a development system, test system and production system. And the development system and test system, they share one HANA database, which is 480 gigabytes. And the production system, it used the dedicated HANA system. 
and be, uh, before uh, in front of it, they are using the Fiori. So it also needs three Fiori servers. So for this customer, as you can see that they totally use eight virtual machines to run the full site of their APS4 HANA system. So this customer go to AliCloud because they have very little or very limited IT resource to, for this company to maintain this ICP system. Okay, and this customer is a German customer, a mining company in mining industry, and they uh, they have put it or migrate their ICP business one HANA system onto Alibaba Cloud. So as I mentioned in the beginning, that we have we support the ICP business one on HANA scenario from 64 up to 500 gigabyte uh, virtual machine. And this customer's uh, virtual machine is around, I think, uh, 256 HANA box, so which is also quite big. Okay, so this customer is a French customer and uh, they have their GoChina business and they have also very limited IT professionals so that they are coming to the cloud and as you can see from the technical architect, architecture, you can see that they have they are using the ECC SPR3 ECC60 and um, together with DB2. And uh, for DB2, they are using the HADR, so HA with near sync and DR with async. And uh, here you can see that the primary uh, region is Shanghai and the DR area or region uh, is Hangzhou. This is also supported and they're also online right now. Okay, so the last page is from one retail company, which is a, a quite big retail company in China. And this customer, as you can see that they have achieved 12 billion RMB in retail sales in 2017. So I can only tell that they are quite big and they are still increasing very fast and they are in the south part of China. So maybe some of you know it. And uh, the headquarter of them is in the Quantum. So as you can see that uh, their SAP systems, so it includes the S4 HANA, the CAR system, EWM, and DGPOBO. It is located in China, Shenzhen. So the south is the big city in China and they have Fiori application, application service and HANA. I think the, right now they are using four terabyte HANA box virtual machine from Alibaba Cloud. So, so all the <coughs> SAP system are located in Shenzhen, but they, as you can see, they have different offices in worldwide. So in US, in Europe, or in Southeast Asia, right? And they are using the Alibaba Global Connection Network solution, which I mentioned the CEN, I mean, Cloud and Price Network, or the GA Global Acceleration Services to accelerate the users or the offices connection from different parts or area to the ICP system in China. Okay, so last uh, page is from our ecosystem. And uh, for so we have, in the worldwide, we have many uh, partners working together to help you the SAP customers. Okay, that's all.